So what I have for you today are seven tips to keep your house spotless while you're trying to sell it. Now, of course, it would be fantastic if you had the luxury and the ability to stage your house, list it for sale, and move out. That way, it's perfectly clean and ready to go at all times. But not everybody, unfortunately, has the ability to do that. And keeping the house clean is a very big deal. You never know when you might get a call from your listing agent telling you that somebody wants to pop by and take a look. Also, living in a home is very different than keeping your house, a retail product, perfectly ready to show at any moment. So here are the tips. Wrote this in my blog. Number one, invest in some clear bins. If a buyer happens to open a closet or go out into your garage and to see a bunch of stuff stacked up lying there, it's not going to make the right impression. For a few dollars, you can get some big plastic bins and stack everything up in them. It's a really good idea. Secondly, clean as you go. Cleaning the house and keeping it spotless and dust free is an all consuming full time project. So every time you make some sort of mess or do something in the kitchen or one of the bedrooms or something like that, just clean it up as you go. And if that phone call comes, you're not having to scramble and dust and clean. It's already ready for you. Number three, <laughs> and you might not like this, use only one bathroom. I don't need to explain why, but you get the idea. Tip number four, tackle odors every day. Don't keep the trash cans in the garage full of yucky stuff. Clean out the trash can under the sink. When somebody walks into the house, you don't want to have to overwhelm them with a brand new candle or something to, rem <laughs> or something to remove the smells that occur from daily life. Number five, rotate toys and books. Little Johnny may have thousands of action figures and books that he loves to keep in his room, but it tends to be messy and if a buyer walks in and even sees all of those things neatly stacked up, it's just going to remind them that they have chores to do in their own house. Put a few toys out, a few books out, every day or so, switch them out, little Johnny will be happy, and your prep time for a buyer inspection will go down, that's for sure. Number six, send your pets on vacation. Let's face it, we all love our animals, but getting them out of the way for an impromptu buyer visit can be a hassle. Also, you don't want some prospective buyer to accidentally discover a lead behind in the side yard. You know what I mean? And number seven, drive away with the laundry. Of course, if the laundry happens to be in the dryer, that's not that big a deal. But a big bag of laundry to be folded or a stack of clothes on the bed, it's just a pain it's going to remind the buyer that they, again, have chores that they need to do, and it's going to set the wrong impression. These seven tips will go a long way for helping you maintain a stress-free life while you're trying to show your house as best as it possibly can. If you've got further questions or you'd like to get a hold of me, right above my head here, click that button, or on the site, my phone number and my email address are readily available. I'd love to help you. Thank you very much and have a great day.